It doesn't matter if you're using an iPad Air, an iPad Pro, the Mini, or even the classic 9.7 inch iPad, having a great accessory that's well executed can really elevate your experience from good to great. Now, but the problem is that finding a great accessory is a little bit like Indiana Jones who's looking for the Lost Ark of the Covenant. That's because you spend a lot of time bouncing from site to site, searching through what is a endless list of accessories for your iPad, and sometimes you're lucky enough to stumble upon one that's actually great, while other times you end up getting an accessory that feels like it's been cobbled together and lacks thoughtfulness. If you've been on the hunt for great iPad accessories, you are in the right place because in today's video, I'm going to talk about all of my favorite accessories for the iPad Air and iPad Mini. Let's get started. What is going on everyone? I am Mike and this is Tech 24 7 TV where we bring you the latest and greatest in unboxing and product reviews so you can make informed buying decisions. Here on this channel, we do the legwork so you could find the very best in technology for your daily life. And if you like iPad and iPhone videos, just like this one, make sure you are subscribed with notifications. Now there's an abundance of accessories available for the iPad. And like I mentioned in the beginning, finding the best accessory is hardly easy. When I'm buying an accessory, I'm really looking for an accessory that's gonna be conformable because I'd like to use it across many different accessories as possible. It should have good design and a high degree of aesthetics, AKA it can't really be ugly. And finally, it should be high enough quality where it lasts for you know a good amount of time. I don't have to replace it every few months. Now the accessories in today's video can be used with the iPad, iPad Air, the iPad Classic, the 9.7 inch, or even the iPad Pro. But if something is model specific, I will make sure to make note of it during the video. And if you're interested, you can click on the card above here to go ahead and watch the video from my favorite accessories for the iPad Pro. Now there are links to all the accessories that I talk about in today's video right below the like button and timestamps to all the products that I talked about are pinned in the first comment. Now the core of any good setup is gonna be an iPad stand and that is especially true if your iPad is gonna be your primary computing device, all right, or it's gonna be the desktop companion for your Mac. Now this is the clear look tablet stand and it costs 28 bucks on Amazon. Now for me, there are a few things that I really like about the clear look tablet stand. First, the iPad is gonna be elevated a good height from the top of my desk. It's actually gonna be 12 inches from the stand to the cradle. And then from there, it's gonna be adjustable up to another six inches, meaning you can actually have your iPad 18 inches off the top of the table. Now, which is great because there is nothing worse than getting a neck pain from having bad posture. Second, the cradle itself can be adjusted to fit a device from an iPhone 6 all the way up to the current iPad 12.9 inch. Now it's not quite easy enough to use one handed, but it is simple enough to open by pulling on the straw strings. The cradle can be rotated, allowing for the iPad to be used either in portrait or landscape orientations, and it can be tilted up or down for better viewability. Now finally, the base itself rotates 360 degrees with a single finger, thanks to the mats on the bottom of the stand. Plus, I really appreciate the minimal design aesthetic. Now, from my perspective, this makes a great stand to use with, you know, if you're using this as a primary computing device with a keyboard and a mouse, if you're using it as like a secondary monitor on Mac OS Catalina and Sidecar, maybe you wanna use it to play video games, FaceTime, WebEx, possibly even in a kitchen, but except for me, my cabinets are a little bit too low, or in a professional environment as a, like a kiosk check-in or a point of sale stand. Now, prior to this, I was using the Sateki R1 hinge, which I really still find myself using, but that use cases are a little bit more nuanced now since getting the clear looks. I would go ahead and still recommend the Sateki if you're looking for a stand that has great viewing angles, great fit and finish, while being ultimately more portable than the clear look. Now that you have a great stand for your iPad, you really need an equally great hardware keyboard if you wanna accomplish some serious work. I previewed the first option in my last video about the iPad 2 and iPad OS, and it is the ultra portable Bluetooth foldable keyboard from iClever, and it costs $37. Now what's great about this keyboard is that it's ridiculously compact footprint and it weighs only 6.3 ounces. This allows for it to easily fold into any backpack or briefcase or if you're a carpenter in your back pocket. Now the keyboard is compatible with iOS, Android, and Windows devices and can easily switch between the devices itself. The keys are backlit and they have a sufficient amount of key travel and it really kind of has my favorite function keys which I talk about in almost every video. Now the downside here is that it charges via micro USB. It's not a deal breaker for me but I would love to have seen USB-C charging. Now, on the other hand, if you are looking for a keyboard that is not necessarily as costly and it's gonna be kind of affixed to your desk on a more permanent basis, there's the Jellycomb wireless keyboard. I don't know where they come up with these names. It's quite funny. This is gonna be $15 on Amazon. Now it has a similar feature set, a good typing experience. It has those iOS function keys, still works with those the trio of devices, but you lose out on the portability and the backlit keys. Now, if it hasn't been entirely clear yet, I am a big proponent of flexibility, which really extends to the way that I charge my devices. 
Now for me, I am all in on using USB-C to charge my devices because I really wanna minimize the number of cables that I carry day to day. And USB-C has a lot of inherent benefits because it can safely charge my iPad or even the iPhone faster with power delivery. Now for USB-C, I'm charging with the PowerPort Atom PD-1, what a mouthful. It costs between $25 and $32 on Amazon, depending on whether it's on sale or not. Like I just picked up my last one for $21 during Amazon Prime. Now let's compare the 30 watt charger from Anchor to Apple's 18 watt charger that comes with the, you know, the newer iPads, in addition to the 30 watt charger that you can purchase separately for $49.99. You can clearly see that the Anchor version is just about as big as the 18 watt charger and it's practically baby sized when you compare it to the 30 watt charger from Apple. Well, that's because Anchor is essentially using a new manufacturing technique that shrinks the internal components allowing for, for a much smaller footprint. Now the downside here is that the plugs themselves are not foldable much like the 30 watt charger that you see from Apple. But if you take in consideration that Anchor is delivering kind of the same wattage as the Apple version at 40% less the cost, and you can charge your iOS devices between two and six times faster, in addition to having an 18th month warranty, it's a pretty compelling purchase. If you often find yourself digging through a backpack full of dongles, cables, and plugs without a way of really corralling them, let me introduce you to the tech pouch from Peak Design. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Peak Design, this is a company that started several years ago focusing on making really just great camera accessories, and now they've grown into making kind of great travel gear. Now, the Tech Pouch is a top-loading accordion-style pouch that features a waterproof shell and zipper, meaning the contents are going to remain dry if it gets wet. It's large enough to hold two liters of your favorite dongles, cables, and chargers, in addition to having a rear zipper pocket on the back that can fit my iPhone XS Max and, and a Passport, and it has a cable pass through to charge your phone if you want to go ahead and use that Mophie Power Station PDXL inside of the pouch. Now, that in addition to having a middle zipper pocket for all the delicate items like memory cards, AirPods, and whatever else you can think of. Now, there's no doubt it's expensive because it costs $59.99, but it does have a lifetime warranty, and if you've been looking for a new travel bag or backpack, this integrates very nicely into the Peak Design kind of ecosystem of bags, so you're gonna get high reuse out of it. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you don't need to carry around all these things, maybe like I do, you could be looking for a way to keep your Apple Pencil safe and secure. Now, this is the small zipper pencil case that holds kind of an Apple Pencil, a few different dongles from Cosmos, and it costs, I mean, a very nice or very attractive $7.99. Last but not least, you probably want something to keep your iPad protected while it's not in use or during kind of transport. I have two options for you depending on if you want something a little more luxurious or something that's a little bit more practical. Now first, this is the Inatech tablet case and it's $15. The interior is gonna be lined with faux fur. It's got a large exterior pocket that's actually kind of large enough to put in the iClever keyboard when it's folded, the Anchor charger, a USB-C cable, and the Apple Pencil. Now I've been using this for about a month now and I'm say it's gonna be my go-to travel case for my iPad instead of my Tom bin, because I like to leave that inside of my Tom bin bag. Now, in addition to that, if you want something a little bit more luxurious, Apple's iPad cases, they make some of the best leather products I've seen. Now here, as a bonus tip, if you have a small child with an iPad, this is the top set iPad case for the 9.7 inch iPad, and it saved my son's iPad several times from falls three plus feet up. So the entire case is made of silicone. It has three handles, allowing you to kind of grab it anywhere you want. It comes with a strap, but I found that's too cumbersome for a small child. There's a kickstand on the back so it can be propped up for watching movies or TV shows while you're on a long flight, hint, hint. And it's available in lots of colors that kids love. Now that's going to wrap up my favorite accessories for the iPad Air and the iPad Mini, but I wanna know what your favorite accessories are and what you would change from my list. Now let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more content with the username at Caputo, and I will talk to you in the next one.